Last night, we were home, and we were kind of chilling out a little bit, and uh, watching TV, and they were showing the movie The Ten Commandments. How many people ever saw that movie, Ten Commandments, Charlton Heston? I can remember as a kid, that movie was like four or five hours long, it was long. And uh, when I was a kid, I can remember, you know, the Ten Commandments. My parents would take me to see the Ten Commandments. So I, I didn't watch it last night, but I watched it here a year or so ago. And uh, as I was watching that movie, I didn't see nothing that I ever read in the Bible. <laughs> they, I mean, they, were, they had this whole big thing about Moses growing up and the Pharaoh and his, his girlfriend. And I'm thinking, that ain't in the Bible. And when they did get him to, to the biblical stuff, you know, going through the wilderness, it wasn't nothing like what I read, okay? It, it lets me to, to realize, you know what, don't get your theology out of Hollywood. They, you know, God's Word tells us exactly what happened. Now, now there was another movie made recently, and somebody's going to get mad at me. I know somebody's going to get mad at me. But how many, anybody see the movie The Passion of the Christ? Okay? Now, that movie was a very well-made movie. And, uh, the, you know, the, the, the you know, special effects, and it was a very graphic movie. But now, I'm going to say something, and, and somebody might get mad at me. But you know what? It, when, when we read the scriptures, the Holy Spirit inspired the writers of the Bible. Do you believe that? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John inspired by the Holy Spirit. Now, did you ever ask yourself the question why the Holy Spirit did not inspire the writers of the Bible to be graphic? In other words, when we read the scriptures, we read about the crucifixion, and we read about the beating and everything, but he doesn't like, you know, describe, you know, exactly how, you know, the flesh was ripped and the blood dripped. I mean, we, don't see, we don't get like the graphic description. We just, it just tells us what happened. And did you ever wonder, I wasn't even going to get in. Into this, I'll get into it. Did you ever wonder why, when, if you ever watched that movie, there are scenes in that movie that you can't find in the Bible? You know, there's stuff in there that it's not in here. That stuff came from, from, like, from like, uh, like Catholic stuff. They, like people had visions and they, they, they saw what really happened. You know, the Holy Spirit didn't tell the gospel right. All I'm saying is to say this. You know, a lot of people have seen that movie and had a very profound effect on them. And that's fine. But don't get your theology from Hollywood. Don't get what you believe about Jesus Christ from what you see in the movie theater. God's word stands on its own. doesn't need any help. We can read it and study it. It doesn't need any help.